In this short recording, we're going to look at how we can use the Curity Web Authen Authenticator together with a YubiKey, a 5 Series YubiKey that is NFC enabled. And we're going to test that out on an iPhone. So the first thing that needs to be done is to get the Web Authen Authenticator. It's available uh, in the Curity GitHub repository. Uh, it's the web Authen authenticator. In, in that GitHub repository, there are instructions for how to build and, and deploy the plugin. So I'm not going to cover that here in this video. I, I already have it deployed in my security environment. It's fairly simple. You just have to build it, um, copy a couple of runtime um, libraries, and deploy that to the security server. If we look at how to configure this in Curity, to log in with the deployed authenticator, we can go to profiles and to the authentication service. And we can see here under authenticators, I have one already. I have an example configuration deployed on my system already. But now we can create a new authenticator and the web authen uh, option shows up in here. So we need to configure this as a new one, give it a name, click next. I am going to um, add an HTML authenticator as the uh, registration here. So we can leverage that to register users if we want to. And the only one that I have is the HTML one already. And so I'm going to use this one, but you can create different ones to use for registration here as well. I have to, I'm going to select the default account manager here and a bucket default data source that I already have. Um, we have to choose an algorithm. Yes, 256 is the only one used for now. Um, in addition to that, we have to select uh, or add an organization name. I'm going to unselect user verified by the authenticator device because I don't have that configured. Uh, so in order for this to work, I have to disable this. That's it in terms of configuring the authenticator itself. I, within my system, have um, some clients configured already. Um, again, this comes from an example configuration. I'm going to use this dub 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 client here. So what I need to do now is I need to assign this authenticator to this client. So I have a shortcut up here in user authentication. It doesn't have any authenticators assigned as of right now. So we can add an authenticator in here. And here's the web auth one that we just created. Select that. And now this is the authenticator that is assigned to this um, www client that we're going to use on the iPhone and the, the test. In order for these changes to take effect, I have to commit them. You can see this little red dot up here means that I have uncommitted changes. So I can commit this. And then we hit OK. Now we have the authenticator created and assigned to the dub 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 uh, client that we're going to use. So let's switch to the iPhone and see how this uh, works within a simple, very simple web application. I have a simple web application here that has a button to authenticate that will trigger our authentication flow here. So when we click authenticate, we will load the Curity's authentication page. And I have a user here that I can log in with. Uh, and I have no device registered, so I can select to register the device. And in order to do so, I have to authenticate with my user. So that's the first step here. Now, Curity is waiting for the 
device and when I hold up the device as you can see here I get to the next step where I can select an alias for this NFC device and then the device is registered to my account. So to log in with this I simply now have to log in and hold up the YubiKey uh, to my phone and it authenticates and we're done. That concludes our short video. If you have any questions feel free to reach out at info at curity.io. Thanks for watching.